Magnus Carlsen with the white pieces. What is he going to play? My guess is d4 against Hari. Oh, c4 played on the board. And Hari Krishna will go e5. Oh, he goes c6. Very solid. d4. Knight f3. Because you know you can go into the slough with d4, d5. Yes, Slav on the board. Hari Krishna's favorite, Slav. And now D takes C4. I think Hari will take, yeah. And then Bishop F5. Oh, he plays E4. He doesn't go and chop this pawn. It's all theory. It's all theory, guys. Hari is well prepared. He's making his moves quickly. So, after AB3, E6. Bishop D3, A5. Castles. He went knight a6. Now he's looking to come to b4. So, ooh, he chops the pawn. Hare Krishna plays bishop d7. Hare Krishna very well prepared. Knight to b4. Queen d, queen e2. b5 pawn is hanging. So, Hare takes here, takes here. Develops his bishop. Knight to c3. And castles. After uh, bishop g5 went h6. Why did Hari Krishna not go b4 is a very big question. He took, took and Magnus said at least I'll win a pawn. Knight a3, rook d8 and Hari has actually given up a pawn. I mean there was no need for it actually. He could have gone b4. Now he has compensation for sure. He has compensation with all his pieces looking here and so on. He goes rook a4 and now queen a4. Krishna has a chance to sort of reduce white's advantage and he can do so by taking here. Taking here. Now, very important is to take with the pawn because if you take with the queen, then rook d4 and it's a draw. So you take with the pawn. And you are playing 5 versus 4. Now, generally such positions, I would be very confident of Hare Krishna defending them. But because he's playing against Magnus Carlsen and what we saw yesterday with Magnus playing so, so well, it can get very tricky. After Queen d3, e5, d5 was played. And now Hari finds a very nice move, f5. And his point is, if you take, I can go e4 with pressure here. Very nice. So, rook e1 played and queen a5 by Hare Krishna. Threatening here and threatening there. After take, he can't take with the queen, he'll lose the rook. So, has to take with the pawn and then we can take on e4. Very important move. f e4 and now rook f8 with the idea of rook coming in here and latching on to this weakness on h4. Hari Krishna should also be able to hold this against Magnus. But some pressure still like pawn down but it so went like after knight e5, rook d5, queen e1. Oh, he played it this way. Nice. Hari gave up his queen. Bishop takes f4, king f8 g4 g5 played very nice move because if you take take and take then after king e6 this is attacked and then g4 will fall so that's the reason why he played king e1 bishop b3 while amruta this is a this is a short short draw i don't oh, think oh magnus versus hari right yeah now. i don't think uh hari will lose this what uh, do you no, think not with the bishop nahi koi doubt mat rakhna for sure no He's still trying to press, He's yeah. He doesn't trying. give up. He'll keep on playing and on and on and on. Today there is better oh, light no, in his no, house, no, no. though. Today he looks more tired, but Drew! Drew! Ah, done. Well done, Hari. Hari Krishna drew his game against Magnus Carlsen. So that means all Indians have now played against Magnus. Arjun and Gukesh have beaten him. Oh. Vidit has lost. Aditya Mittal has drawn and Hari has drawn. So three out of five for Indians.